Uh, smell trouble. Ooh, there's two big thrones here. You will suffer me! Alright. Now the gimmick with these two guys... First off, we're gonna dark matter these guys. Um, they have not much difference in their HP, but there is some. You have the older and the younger. One is immune to, or rather absorbs, water and ice and is weak to fire, and the other is pretty much the opposite. But they do not have any specific weakness or resistance against, um, Shadow. So, um, this is the ideal party here, and you want to use Falcon Hit, will work just fine as well. One is the elder, one is the younger, and they will constantly absorb your MP throughout the fight. I can't remember which one is which, but you you have to t you actually have to take them out. Oh, great freaking counterattack! I forgot about that shit. Oh, there we go. That just evens that out. But they need to be taken a turn out a turn apart from each other, if not at the same time, because if you kill one on his next turn, he will revive the other. Apparently one has much higher magic defense than the other, so you attack him. So you need to keep their, um... Their HP relatively even. One is slightly higher HP than the other. I'm surprised the, the boxes here don't tell me which one is which. Because I can't remember which is the elder and which is the younger. I guess you attack him. Shadow is doing much more damage to one than the other, which is not what I planned on. You could use Robo here with laser spin and all, too. Haha, <laughs> it's a good thing he got his turn just then, because he's gonna revive the other one if I don't kill him soon. Kill him. Please. Alright, he's supposed to revive the other on his next turn. <laughs> okay, or maybe he's gonna sit on his butt. Well, actually, Osmos is a counter anyway, I forgot that. There we go. So that wasn't him taking a turn, that was him countering. Do we? But yeah, if you don't take them both out pretty much at the same time, you might be in trouble. And at least they have the decency to teleport us back. Yay! And we get an ancient treasure! The Valley Crest is for Isla! Which is promptly being equipped on her. No, I don't want Marl, I want friggin' Isla. She's the only person who can equip it. I can find it. Which boosts the critical hit rate and gives her a 50% counterattack rate, which is pretty nice. So now we can put the prism specs on Chrono. Yay! See, we're gonna change our equipment a little bit. What did I want to put on Luca? Something I wanted to put. Oh wait, no. What I was thinking of isn't really gonna work in my favor. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I'm gonna put this. I was gonna put the sunglass and the dragon seer on somebody, but I don't wanna take anyone's speed equipment off yet. So, yay! We have saved the village from those nasty people. I guess. So, now we wanna go back to 600 AD and do what I wanted to do like 20 something minutes ago. Dang that stupid walkthrough I was using as a partial guide. He told me, yeah, you're supposed to do that and then have this whole primeval fortress thing listed much later in the walkthrough. It's not how it works! Man, I've been sitting here like recording for like an hour and a half on this. Like, no joke. Alright, yeah, well, might as well just keep this party for the time being. Alright, name me now, you'll tell me you miss your little friend. There we go. Alright. So we get to climb the mountain 
Again! So, I'll just meet you at the top there! Alright, so we're back on top of the mountain again. Excuse me, Mr. New, can, can you please move out of the way? Oh, he's building a bridge all by himself. Why is Isla talking here? Maybe it's just the leader of my party. So he moves out of the way for us. And once again, we hear the Ocean Palace music. Yes, I know the Ocean Palace music is awesome, but it just doesn't feel right. Oh no! He's falling off! And Magus rushes to help him. Isn't he nice? So how did he get this, like, going across the other way? <laughs> Why does he want to build a bridge over here to begin with? And he suggests using a new! Well, isn't it convenient that we have one right outside? See, I like using Megas there because, well, he actually has knowledge of the news because, well, he kind of had him poking around back home, so he knows about him. Yes, stop being a bum and go help. No, no, not really. And he's like, right, whatever. So Mr. New is going to help with the bridge. Isn't he a sweetheart? What? You're going to make him do all the work? Are you serious? He was up to your assistant, not your little slave. Hungry! You know, well, while we have those, like, power meals we got from, like, Dalton, why don't we just, like, beat him? Well, are they power meals or they ambrosias in this game? I don't know. They're pretty much the same thing. But, um... Then we just feed him some of those, or just pull a mega elixir out of our pants or something. But yeah, we gotta go all the way back down to the village and get a lunch for this reptite. So once again, I'll meet you at the bottom. Again. Okay, and we're back in the village here. I just rested up at the guy because Megas had like no MP left after the, that battle with the uh, the doohickey guys. Oh, we get a hearty lunch. Does it have Campbell soup in it? Oh, well, how do you know he's been around for a long time? So yeah, we came all the way down the mountain just to get a lunch, which we now have to bring back up to the new. Yeah, you know what that means. Alrighty, and we're back at the top of the mountain once again to give the new a lunch. Ocean Palace! Here, have some hearty lunch. It's got a thermos and everything. It's a Transformers lunchbox. It's awesome. It's every 80s child wet dream right here. Oh, the villager. Maybe he'll be friends. It, it, it's a her? Okay. Alright then. Oh, we gotta get him more food. Oh, great. Yeah, if you remember, this new is really, really old. And he wants a certain fruit that you can only find in 65 million BC. So, we gotta climb down the mountain once again. And go back to 65 million BC. Teleport! Alrighty, back in 65 million we are. And we're gonna talk to some people first. Here we go. They're basically telling me to get the food I want, I need to kill monsters. Hmm. No. But one of these guys gave us the clue we needed. I mean, I know exactly what I'm looking for and where it is. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Alright. 
But anyway, there are five different foods that can be found from various mon uh, groups of monsters in this time era. And I'm just going to talk over this battle. Remember, he wanted some yellow fruit or something like that. Now, you can get the other meats, or well, the other foods, but I think you have to return to the new every time you get one, only to find out it's the wrong one. It's the same one every time, and it's always held by the same monster. And they, these items do count as part of your, um, your, uh, item completion, I think. But anyway, this is a quest-specific item. You cannot get this prior, so you can't, like, save yourself a trip from the mountain. It's gonna be held by this group of monsters right here. Yeah, the freaking Death Creeper. And the frogs. Like, other foods can be found um, in the forest, or... I forgot there was anyone's shadow. Or on the mountain. And stuff, so... Excuse me. <laughs> Chrono with his awesome damage there. He has the present specs on now, does he? Yeah, I think he does. Because I have Isla with the Valor Crest now. So he's doing pretty nasty damage. Yeah, see, you will not get this cutscene until you know that you're looking for a food. So this is the yellow fruit he was talking about. Is the sweet banana. That is the only thing that is going to satisfy him. And it's always held by that group of monsters, like I said, so... I'm not gonna worry about showing you where the other meats and stuff are. Because that would just take way too much time. Because I think I'd have to trek up the mountain every time to find out he doesn't want it before let me have another one. Which is just gonna add to the monotony of this. I mean, I've been sitting on my ass here for two hours recording this, and I'm not even done yet. We're getting there, though. We are almost done. So, we're gonna return to 600. And climb up the mountain once again. To give him a banana. Which is gonna be awesome. Because maybe he'll finish the darn bridge for us. Alright guys, a little pit stop here. I'm climbing up the mountain. And I ran into another Wonder Rock right here. Awesome! Now, even if you charm another Lumicide off him, you cannot make another of the item. You can only get one in the game, so there's no point. However, this guy can be defeated, and I just figured out how to do it. Well, he is very, very resistant to physical attacks. He is very weak to magic. Which I never even bothered trying before. And thankfully I have good enough speed. I did actually practice defeating him. And I was actually pleasantly surprised by what you get from this. But still, it's much easier just to, just to charm the Lumicide off of him to begin with. And he actually has um, an attack where he can suck up your, um, your HP. Which I never knew. And I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing it's a status ailment that misses because I'm status immune. Yeah, as you can see here, Luminaire is actually doing more damage than Dark Matter is right now. We get 10,000 experience for that. And 20,000 gold. And we get a Lumicide shard anyway. But yeah, like I said, much easier to charm it from that guy. Much easier. Okay, enough of that little detour. Select the name emulator window, thank you. And we're back at the top of the mountain again, where we're gonna give our... ...good friend, the new... ...a sweet banana. My god, 54. <laughs> yeah, I know everyone else is lagging behind, but... ...they're really okay right now. Vegas is staying at the front of my party until the last area. Dude, you're like standing on the edge there. Isn't that how you fell off in the first place? Can you make it the poor new do all the work? Yes, we brought food. Oh. And he's gonna finish building the bridge for us. What a nice guy. Yes, we get it. You're building. Why don't you help him? 
And granted, you started the work, but finish it at least. Jeez. And we're jumping up down with joy. I think this could use some, like, guardrails on the edge. So, you know, we don't fall off. No, 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 I don't want to go back down the mountain. I want to see what's on the other side. Yay! Now, what will you build in the bridge, too? Oh, look, the new came down to the village, too. Maybe you can have some friends now? Friends! Yay! Yeah, he's been alone for a long, long time. Although, why didn't, why didn't he go to the village in the first place? I don't know. Well, maybe because they were all hiding, and he didn't know who was, who was there, so... Oh, he likes her food. Um, um... Not even gonna make a joke there. So I'm not even gonna do it. It's asking for it, but no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it! Not gonna do it. And we get some Saurian leathers! Which I think are pretty decent, if I can remember what the hell they do. Um... Ooh, speed and strength, and the normal defense. Um, who can use that? It's not better for frogs, so we're gonna put that on, um, Robo! So we can't take it off Chrono, and we're not getting rid of Megas' stuff, because his stuff is, like, exclusive. So yeah, now we gotta, we gotta find out what's on that bridge, and apparently there's a cutscene here. Dude, you're, like, spazzing out! Calm the hell down! Dude, calm down. Now, if it's a huge, eerie tower, why wouldn't you be able to see it before you built that bridge and know there's an eerie tower? You know, you know, I swear that guy built the bridge just so we could get to that eerie tower and just didn't want to tell anyone about it because it was too eerie. Or some bullcrap like that. Oh, he's got the creeps. The heebie-jeebies. Hmm. I wonder... Nah, nah, the game wouldn't be that lame. Alright, so we're gonna go up the freaking mountain again. And I actually believe this is the last time we have to go up the mountain. Thank goodness. I'm pretty sure it's the last time. So, I'll meet you up there one last time. <laughs>